Hello everybody, welcome back to Genius Loki. I'm Tuyan Artuk. I'm a user experience architect and today I'm going to tell you about one of the most important things I do while searching for what I'm passionate about. Sounds interesting? Let's get into it. So why it is important to find your passions? The benefits of finding your passions are immense. Once you find what you are passionate about, an immense surge of energy supports you in working on your passion. You don't get easily tired or bored and you stop procrastinating because you love what you're doing and what you're doing really activates you. It becomes the fuel of your life. You wake up in the morning thinking about it. You pour your cafe while thinking about it. Like even after a long day, you are thinking about it because it becomes the main reason that drives you in life. It becomes the fuel that helps you keep going. It gives you a purpose in life and that is why it is so important to find your passions and interests. So how do you find your passions and interests? Since there is no cookie cutter technique to pinpoint your passions, I usually decide to focus on myself and get a better understanding of where my values are. I have two techniques or habits that I'm actively using. Um, they are basically incorporated into my daily life. The first one is asking the questions of why and how, basically playing the curious journals in my own life. And the second one is verbalizing the things that annoy me in life. So those two things are in autopilot, working in the background in my mind and picking up the things that sparks energy. So let's check out the first one, being a journalist with asking questions about why and how. So this is something that I started to implement in my life during the last phase of my bachelor studies in architecture. I had many topics that I was passionate about, but I was not sure if they were the right things for me. Asking why and how questions can be an important way to gain deeper understanding of yourself and therefore your passions and eliminate the topics that are less relevant to you. Asking why can help you to understand the reasoning behind them. Why do you want to do this? It can help you to better understand the world around you and how things work and also what you like and what you lean towards in your life. Asking how can help you to understand the processes and steps involved in order to achieve your passion. It can help you to break down complex tasks into smaller, more manageable chunks. It can also help you to understand any potential challenges or obstacles that you may encounter. Overall, asking questions is a crucial way to understand and evaluate your patients if they are really what you're looking for. It challenges your assumptions and helps you to think critically and creatively as you consider different perspectives and possibilities. So I would definitely recommend you to ask those questions before putting time and effort into any projects. Understanding yourself is the key to find your passions and those questions will help you along with that. Let's move on to the second technique that I use in the path of understanding my passions, which is focusing and verbalizing the things that annoy me in life. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this works nowadays in autopilot with me. When I see something that truly annoys me, I immediately start to think of solutions how to fix it. And because I'm annoyed, I generate extra energy to fix it. Verbalizing the things that annoy you can help you better understand your feelings and thoughts. And as I told you, in order to find your passions, you should get in your touch with yourself first. You should understand yourself first. By taking time to make clear what is causing to annoy you and what is causing to annoy you in the first place helps you in the path of self-discovery. And then it is up to you to invest energy and resolve this issue. For instance, I've been for a long time really annoyed by the current situation of the housing market. I am annoyed by the fact that the housing became an investment object since 2008 market crash. And this kills the social aspect of the right for living. The issue is not having enough houses. The issue is because of the current situation of the market, people cannot afford and therefore don't have any access to the housing. And for me, living in a house, the need to protect yourself against rain, cold and sickness is a basic human right. 
and nobody should be allowed to take this away from you. I think the governments must take a hard action to overcome the housing crisis. And because I'm annoyed by that, I've been reading and researching and asking questions why and how quite often. The more I ask those questions, the better I start to see the big picture and that lights up my passion on that topic. So let's wrap this in a nutshell. In order to find your passions, you have to better understand yourself first. You can be a journalist of your life by asking questions of why and how, or you can focus on the things that annoy you and try to understand by verbalizing them. The road to get to know yourself is a beautiful and satisfying journey that I would definitely recommend. I hope this video sparked some tiny or big ideas in your beautiful brains. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with somebody that you might think enjoy as well. And as I always say, sharing and expanding the information and knowledge is the best thing that we can do to make a better world. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Cheers.